Hi, North Lake family. Pastor Jeff here. If you are viewing this video on the day it's distributed, which is March 2nd, 2022, it is Ash Wednesday. And we're really glad to be able to start into this Lenten season and that you would be part of it with us. Lent is a season that's got a lot of history. It goes back to the very early years of the church, early centuries. The word Lent actually uh, refers to the lengthening of days in the springtime. But Lent is a commemoration of the 40-day period when Jesus was in the wilderness and undergoing temptation in preparation for his time of um, public ministry. And the 40 days of Lent, are, uh, they represent a season of preparation for Holy Week, for, for Monday, Thursday, for Good Friday, and certainly for Easter. And so when we think about Lent, we, we consider it to be a, a time of introspection, a time of reflection. The great history of, of Lent has included prayer and fasting and sacrificial giving. And there's some traditions that really emphasize what are you giving up for Lent? And that's okay. And maybe there's something you do want to give up for the season of Lent in the spirit of fasting. But even more than that, we, we think about what is it that will reshape us spiritually? What is it that will help develop a deeper relationship with Christ? How do we move in a direction that shows our lifelong journey in a Jesus direction? And so part of what we're after is, is uh, a season where we're really thinking about our relationship with God and with each other, the healthier relationships. That's why this whole season of Lent this year, 2022, we're doing a series on one anothering, creating community amidst chaos. And we're really asking the question that with, with so much brokenness in the world, so many fractures, how is it that we are creating and cultivating healthy relationships with each other, with God? How are we doing that in our families, in neighborhoods, in, in our church, in, um, in the broader culture, in society? We think that's a huge part of what Lent is supposed to be about and thinking about how do we manifest, how do we show the love for one another that we're supposed to have in Christ? So we hope you'll be a part of that. Each week, there'll be a, a message in Lent uh, sun, every Sunday, and then also a study guide that goes with that. We hope you'll participate, not only on your own reflection, but also in a, in a discussion group. Find a way to sign up for that or start one of your own uh, so that we are all together experiencing a one anothering season during Lent. Oh, by the way, today's Ash Wednesday. And if you're interested, We've got an Ash Wednesday service this evening. It's at 6 o'clock in the sanctuary, right here. And I'd love to have you here. And we're going to do the imposition of ashes on foreheads for any of you who'd like to have that. What's that mean? Well, ashes to ashes and dust to dust. It's a reminder of our mortality. The ashes symbolize mortality. But Scripture also says that uh, we're all... Uh, sinners, we have all fallen short of the glory of God. And so this is also a sign of our brokenness, our frailty, how, how flawed we are. And so the ashes then become as well a symbol of repentance. Ash Wednesday, start of Lent. I pray that this will be a season when you can feel closer to God than ever and the relationships that you're a part of deepen, grow, become healthier. Let's do it together, one anothering style. God bless you.